Everything you didn't know about Storage Wars. Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Screeny. Storage Wars has been around for almost a decade now, and we got to learn a lot about its stars over the years. This show is one of the biggest success stories to ever air on the A&E network, but its producers had to deal with a lot of drama once the cameras stopped rolling. Some of the juiciest scenes they ever witnessed never saw the light of day, but that's about to change. Let's take a look at everything you didn't know about Storage Wars. Before we reveal some of the most interesting interesting behind the scenes secrets make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel number 10 playing around Barry Weiss is one of the fan favorites thanks to his carefree spirit and nonchalant approach to the bidding process. He's probably the most reckless of all the storage warriors, but there's a reason why he can afford playing around with money during auctions. Unlike the rest of his co-stars, Barry doesn't make a living buying lockers and selling whatever he finds inside. As a matter of fact, he never bought a single storage unit before joining the show. Barry accumulated $10 million thanks to a produce business he started with his brother decades ago. Ago. He's always been a passionate antiques collector and had more time to expand his collection after deciding to retire. Storage Wars narrator and producer Tom Beers offered him a spot on the show and Barry saw no harm in accepting it. Since his livelihood doesn't depend on this, he made dozens of risky and questionable choices along the way but didn't seem worried about any of them. Being a medical marijuana user may be part of the reasons why he's so laid back all the time. Number 9. Big Catch Dan and Laura Dotson auctioned off dozens of impressive storage units through their company, American Auctioneers, but some of their most valuable ones were actually sold off-camera. We're used to seeing stars of this show making a couple of thousand here or there, but they never crossed the $1 million mark. Dan and Laura came across a single unit worth millions, but that epic moment was never caught on camera. Back in November 2018, Dan Dotson found out one of the units they sold for a poultry $500 ended up being worth a fortune. The buyer found a safe inside and guessed it would be empty like they always are, but he was in for a huge surprise. The safe contained $7.5 million in cash, and the mystery buyer immediately got a call from the attorney representing the original owners. They offered him $1.2 million in return for the cash, which is still a pretty impressive sum. Number 8. Failed Spin-Offs when a reality show finds success, spin-offs usually follow, and the producers of Storage Wars hoped that they would be able to make some extra bucks by producing a few. Back in 2014, they tried to win over the audience with Brandy and Jared, married to the job, but it canceled after only one season. Barry's Treasure premiered the same year and showed Barry Weiss looking for rare antiques and collectibles around the US. Despite being a fan favorite, Barry couldn't carry the show on his own, and it was canceled after only one season. Several spin-offs were filmed outside California though with a new group of cast members. Storage Wars Texas was the biggest success since it stayed on the air for four seasons, but the network still felt the ratings weren't impressive enough. Storage Wars Miami was their biggest failure to date thanks to the tragedy that took place behind the scenes. Shortly after the first episode aired, the son of the cast member Kevin Pugh was charged with murder as the show was canceled after only one season. Number 7. Getting Paid Being a cast member on a reality show doesn't necessarily mean you'll be earning as much as the Kardashians. There's nothing glamorous about storage unit auctions, and viewership numbers reflect that. So do the salaries of the cast members, and Dave Hester's lawsuit reveals just how much he's been receiving to appear on the show. The mogul claimed he was paid $25,000 per episode, but it's safe to assume that some of the cast members received less. Daryl Sheets isn't one of them, since he has the same kind of star power as Hester. He had a pay dispute with producers back in 2015 after they informed him his paycheck is about to be cut by 50%. Sheets was receiving $30,000 per episode at the time and didn't feel like doing the show for any less. He eventually decided to stick around, but same can't be said about his son Brandon, who was eventually laid off due to the budget cuts. Number 6. Soulmates 
Tom Beers is the one who came up with the idea for Storage Wars, but Dan and Laura Dotson served as his main inspiration. No auction on this show can go without them, and it's impossible to imagine anyone else in this role. The couple met during one of Dan's auctions back in 1996, and he immediately drew Laura in with his energy. She later said it was love at first sight, and knew that she wants to marry him on the spot. It didn't take them long to get hitched, and welcomed their first child together. Dan ended up showing her the ropes of the business the same way his grandfather thought him when he was only 11. Laura was a natural and eventually became the co-owner and manager of his company, America Auctioneers. They've been going strong for over two decades. Number 5. Weird Beginning Dan and Laura Dotson had a pitch-perfect romance, but the same can't be said about some of the other couples on this show. To be fair, we all have a different definition of the word romantic, but Daryl's is downright creepy by most people's standards. He got engaged to Kimber Woofel after meeting her on the open road. They exchanged a couple of glances through their car windows, and Daryl just couldn't let it go. He followed her car for a few miles before writing down his number on a piece of paper and holding it against his car window. This tactic surprisingly worked, and Kimber gave him a call. The couple immediately clicked and had some good times together, but eventually called it quits. Sheets fans were surprised when he announced his engagement to Romney Snyder, since some of his social media posts made it seem like he was still on great terms with Kimber. Number 4. TV Material Brandy Passante is one of the biggest stars in Storage Wars, but she wasn't even supposed to be on this show at first. She met the producers at an auction in Harbor City, but the whole thing was still in the planning stages. They were interested in casting Jared since he's been in the business for a while thanks to his aunt, who used to run a public storage facility. He later partnered up with Brandy and opened up his own thrift store called Now and Then, which was featured on the show on several occasions. That was the same place where Storage Wars producers made him an offer he couldn't refuse, eight months after meeting him for the first time. After coming in and seeing Brandy Brandy worked by his side, they felt it would be amazing to shake things up by casting a couple. They asked Pisante if she would mind being on they asked Pisante if she would mind being on TV, and two unlikely reality stars were born right then and there. Number 3. Tragic Departure Despite the fact he was never a part of the main cast, Mark Bellello was one of the most popular supporting players on Storage Wars. Every time he strolled in with huge sums of cash in his pockets, other buyers wished they stayed at home that day. Bellello never shied away from going big, and left an impression on the viewers with his enormous bids and flashy outfits. Fans of the show were shocked after learning he was secretly fighting his inner demons once his sudden death made the headlines. Bellello faced some legal troubles long before the show started taping, but decided to leave drugs behind after being charged with three controlled substance felonies. He was clean for a while, but went back to his old ways in 2013, when he ended up being arrested for possession of meth. Bolello was extremely distraught after the incident, and took his own life by carbon monoxide poisoning in the garage of his auction house. Number 2. Lawsuit to End All Lawsuits Fans of reality shows often wonder if they're completely staged, but they don't have to wonder about Storage Wars. Dave Hester spilled the beans in his infamous lawsuit in 2012 and aired all the dirty laundry the producers of this show tries to hide. He sued them for wrongful termination after they showed him the door, but that apparently wasn't enough. The mogul also claims they were deceiving the public by rigging the whole operation. His lawsuit revealed some of the valuable items were planted to make the filming more fun, and a couple of them even belongs to the cast members. At one point, producers even faked a whole storage unit to make the show more interesting. The auctions were also completely staged, and most of the dialogue was scripted. Instead of denying these claims, producers defended themselves by saying Storage Wars isn't a game show and eventually won the case. Despite the fact he tried to destroy their reputation, they later rehired Hester. Number 1. Going Plastic 
One of the juiciest claims made in this notorious lawsuit was connected to a rumored plastic surgery paid by the producers of Storage Wars. According to Hester, they asked one of the female cast members to undergo a cosmetic procedure, hoping more viewers will tune in if she looked sexier. This was never confirmed, but fans started speculating who might have been on the receiving end after hearing this rumor. They settled on Brandy Passante since she's the most prominent female cast member. This isn't the kind of mystery you can solve with a couple of before and after photos, as we'll probably never know the truth. It's been a while since these rumors started circulating around, as the dust has settled since. It's still a bit disturbing to think there's even a slightest possibility something like this happened. Staging the show is one thing, but manipulating the stars into completely changing who they are to improve ratings raises dozens of ethical questions. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.